All right, ladies and gents, I'm back from break. Somehow a platinum vest has appeared on me. I don't know how this happened, but you know, sometimes things just jump on my body. For, uh, you know, inanimate objects. It's very creepy. Anyway, we have pl we have put the ball into his driving range, the explosive ball, and I'm curious how we lure him to go basically hit the driving range now, right? Like, I don't know what causes him to do that. I don't know if you tell him, or is there a way to lure him to the driving range? Because I want to definitely see this happen. And then after that, I want to turn off the security cameras and... Oh, fucking hold shit, on, seriously? Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, shit! That was close. Yikes. That was fucking close. Alright, the good news is, I didn't get detected. Fuck. Alright, now. How do I get him to start hitting his, his, uh, his uh, golf ball? Because he's like chilling. Look, he's taking his fucking time. He's just sitting there. He's fucking relaxing. If I do this, that's the evacuation. That's going to get him to leave, which I don't want to do. Right? What sucks is like if I killed him with the golf ball, I could have just grabbed one of these parachutes. How much you want to bet you could just jump off the side of the tower and escape that way? But I can't. I got to go disable the security cameras. <clears throat> hmm. So I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. He's up there now. How do I get him to go hit the golf balls? Hmm. Okay. Ipsilvin, no. This is Hitman 3. The last one I played was Hitman 2. Looks like they're going to meet. That's the leader, right? What are they doing? He's like... Stay back. What the hell is he doing with that bed? <laughs> He's like... Massaging the bed sheets. What are you doing, dude? Either you're putting them out or you're, you're taking them off. You're, you don't massage them. What is happening there? Massaging the bed. Release the winch. This would have killed him with this. See that? I could have... Remember, I could have impersonated a bodyguard. But you know what? I think the bodyguard would have been for the other target. Not for this guy. How do I get this guy to fucking go kid his balls? And why are so many people playing solitaire? It's like the third computer that had solitaire on the screen. Come on. Go hit some balls. Do I not make my bed? Of course I make my bed. Not like that. I don't stand there and caress my sheets with my hands. I spread them out over the bed. You know? <laughs> Stretch them out, cover the bed. Come on. Come on. Uh, he's not doing it. He's going the other way now, see? I have no idea how to lure him out there to hit some balls. To my knowledge, no cat has never played the game Bully. Beautiful butterfly. Not to my knowledge. See, he's going in circles, but he's never going out there to hit the balls. He's going to sit down here and have that conversation again. Hmm. Maybe I have to dress up and impersonate someone and then, like, okay. try to convince him to go play golf? I don't know how to do it. Recruiting. Now, only a fool would assume that Power can be kept mm. by only a few good men. Uh, well, and women. <clears throat> we might be the chess masters, but we need our, our chess people. Well, this kind of well, it's kinda sucks. I don't know what to really to do here. I definitely want him to die by the golf ball, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, 
Oh, hero? My neighbor always complained about noise. It pissed me off big time. Where noise! Well, I kicked his door in, put a gun in his face, told him if he didn't like noise, he could pack his shit and move out to the desert. That was a bit brutal. Did he move? Nah, nah, he's my brother in law. My wife persuaded him to stay, but he hasn't complained since. Sounds cozy. So, noise! We have to make noise. And then he'll go play golf. There's money being changed. So the only noise that I saw we could cause is by turning on the radio. And I think there may be at least one in this room. Yeah, see? Shit. I guess I gotta turn on the radio when no one's around. And it'll piss him off and then he'll go play golf, right? What's up, King Michael? Good to see you today. Okay. Where was I? Free Excel. Lo and behold, he started to, to gain uh, scholars. Seems to be uh, oh, oh dear. No. That distracts her. What the heck is happening? I don't like this monster. Now nah, that distracts her, not him. What other noise can I make that'll piss him off? Oh. Huh. What other noise? Because so they say it's noise to annoy him, and then he'll go play golf. Shit. What other noise can I make? Besides maybe the evacuation shit? Wonder if there are any other blood-sucking jerkless down there. Blood-sucking journalists? Maybe these are clues as to what you can do. Can you disguise yourself as a journalist, maybe, and harass him? Maybe. I kind of want to fuck with this alarm, but I don't know what it's going to do. So I'm going to save. Hold on. I'm going to save. And I'm going to mess with it and see what happens. up there. Oh, fuck. There's a guy right here. Shit. I was going to go over there and this guy shows up. No, I don't want to do this. Hey, you! Stop! The alarm. You need to act fast before those bastards evacuate. Head for the helipad. Well, this didn't work. That looks yeah. But so if I do that, he'll go to the helipad, and then I can take him out on the helipad, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get him to hit the golf ball. There's got to be a trigger to make him hit the golf ball, and they're saying it's it's music or, or, or noise. What kind of noise can I make around this guy to piss him off? See, he keeps recording. So if you can make noise around him when he's recording, he'll probably piss him off. But what kind of noise? Oh, like the vacuum. Shit. I couldn't do it. He would be more useful in the private sector and Join set himself user. out to lure him to his true calling. Working for the hand that fed him. Alright, hold on. Grooming him in fate's own image. 
Yo. Nice. That's what I needed. <laughs> now he's pissed, so maybe now he'll go play golf. See, what I like is that the little conversations around the area hint into how do you do these things. So now he'll get pissed. Maybe he'll go do it and kill himself. How's Superman going so far? As King Michael's going good. Um, the servers don't work. Launch day servers aren't working. So I have to play offline, which means no online rankings and no challenges. But it is what it is. At least I am enjoying the unique ways to do this stuff. It is pretty fun, so... Here we go. Let's follow him. Maybe he'll go do the golf now. Or maybe I have to do it multiple times. In fact, I bet it is. I bet I have to do the radio now. And then he probably after two, three times, he gets really angry, I bet. So wait for him to start recording and then turn this on. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Recruit. Hey. Identify yourself. Shit. Where the hell is that racket coming from? Hey, I said pal. I needed teeth. I need to work, God damn it. Oh, you heard that? The people with coronavirus get more tranquility than this. That's fucked up. Is he going to go play golf now? I think he is. I think he's going to do it. We're going to get a good view. Oh, we're going to get a great view. Oh, this is going to be good. We're going to see him blow himself up right here. <laughs> Guys, this is going to be awesome. There he goes. This is going to be sweet. A nice bird's eye view. Here we go. Explosive golf ball. And then after that, we just got we have to hit up the security room on the way out, and then we're good. There he is. Yeah, just gonna hit a few balls to calm down, huh? Get a little putteroo. Gotta be patient. Oh my god. I got a trophy. Assassinate targets with ballistic, accident, and explosion kills. I already got a silver trophy. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our wow. business is done here, but it's far from over. That was cool. That was freaking cool. I like that. All right. So two of the ways out are locked. One of them is not. But remember, I want to hit up the security camera before we leave. That way they don't have any footage of me. Okay. That was a cool way to do it for sure. SMR Tatcher, you said, all right, take bets. How many pieces hit the glass? What does that mean? How many pieces hit the glass? What? What does that mean? Okay. 
Luigi Serial wants me to put a golden vest on my Amazon wish list. <laughs> Shit, this is not the way out. How do I get out? Oh, his own blown up body? Ew. How many disgusting pieces of his body hit the glass? Alright, the stairwell is over here. I'm trying to remember where the stairwell down is. Over here. Here it is. Okay. I love when it plays the victory music. Do 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 do. Shoe cow says, "Do I think the game's worth sixty bucks?" I mean, I can't really answer that because I'm only playing the first stage today. But in reality, the whole the whole shebang when it comes to to Hitman is replayability, replaying the game a million times and getting all the content out of it. So if you're gonna replay the game a bunch of times, I'd say yeah, the game's probably worth it. If you're only gonna play through once. Now, all right, that's a little bit more in question, so. I did this already. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second here. Cameras, there's four different ones. And I bet you can disable the cameras from here, but I think I need to go to the security room and destroy the footage. They already have footage, that's the problem. Damn it, he's blocking he's blocking the stairs down. He's being an asshole. You see the elevator's locked. I can't take the elevator. This is how I came in. Oh, they're saying you can jump off the side if you have a parachute. See that? I can't drop down, can I? It's too far of a drop. Oh, I know where I gotta do. Here we go. What's for dinner tonight? I think we're just having baked chicken tonight. Nothing super special. Baked chicken with potatoes and corn. It's good. My wife's favorite. I like it too. But, you know, nothing new or anything interesting you guys want to hear about. Yeah, see? If I can get a parachute, I can jump off the top the side. That's the exit. Right? Oh, there is a parachute here. But I need to destroy the security footage first. See? I got seen more than a few times. Okay. So the security room was earlier in the stage. Yes, back this way. The music stopped now. The victory music stopped. What the hell? Senior Basil? Seriously, can I send you a vest made of buffalo hide? It would make a great addition. Haha! <laughs> a vest made of 100% buffalo hide? Alright. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Actually, I think I have more than enough vests. Thanks, guys. So, the security room is going to be right here. Here it is. The question is, how the fuck am I going to do this? I have to disable that right there. How am I going to distract these fuckers? I'd have to lure them both out somehow. I can hide... Okay, I can hide their bodies right here. What the fuck? There's a dead body here. Yeah, look. I can hide their bodies in here, but I have to take them both out. How the hell am I going to do that? Right? I do have a coin, so maybe I can lure one of them in here. 
right? Maybe this will work. Oh my god, this is so stupid. I got them both. Wow. Nice. Well, it looks like we're going to have a... A pretty clean escape. There we go. Destroy the footage. No security footage. Done. Now we can just go back where I came from and escape. There's no evidence that anything ever went bad here. Everything is good. I went the wrong way. Gotta go back the way I came. This is a pretty cool first stage. I like how elaborate these, these stages have become now. Save zone missing fuse cell? Oh god, you know what we could have done? We could have maybe electrified some people? Oh man, that would have been pretty messed up. Electrifying innocent people. I'm pretty sure we could have. Shout out to SRVKO24 who has resold for seven months at tier two. And he says, Yo, thank you very much for the resub. The tier two resub is much appreciated. Um, Nitro Zeus 2000 is also subscribed for nine months. Thank you. All right, once this guy turns around, that's it. We're out of here. We've done it. Nice. Very cool. All right, death from above. Complete on top of the world. Sadly, this mission was completed while offline. Scoring progression and challenge completion are not available when offline. We would have been able to see scoring. We would have been able to see, you know, all the different things in stack. And the thing is, without without this game being online, you don't get any progression, and therefore you can't unlock stuff for future missions. Like, for example, if I wanted to replace this first stage from a different starting point, I can't do that now. Because I played it offline, nothing unlocked. That's supposed to be the the... the one of the major hooks of Hitman is that you replay the same stages with different... Oh, I have a different loadout this time. I start as a different character. And you can't do that now because it's playing it offline. That's really dumb that they made it all online and now it's it's, it's messing up like that. Um, now. Now. Here's the cool thing. My wife did it completely differently. You know what she did? You know how we had that mission initially that said something about sneaking to the server room? So if you just do that as the main mission... You go into the server room like I did. When you touch one of the servers, the alarm goes off. What you do is you leave, and then you sneak in again, and then you can hack in as the under the admin account. And when you do that, you can actually change all the stuff in the building. So you can change the schedule to make it look like there's a meeting between both of your targets at the same time in the isolated meeting room. The meeting room is completely private. So if you do that, you basically walk into the meeting room in a disguise. They don't know who you are. And then apparently Lucas Gray, who's the guy you're doing this mission with, your old friend, appears on a freaking screen in the room and basically tells them, oh, your time is up. You guys are evil people and you're done. And then Agent 47 has to take them both out quickly in the room. And no one knows what's happening because the meeting room is completely secure and then you can just exit. So it's actually a really easy way to do the mission, an alternate way that does it all very quickly. So she actually beat the first mission quick and she's on mission two now 
way before I ever got to it, because I was doing these more long, elaborate ways to do the, the uh, executions, okay? So that's pretty good, but sadly, sadly, no progression. And if I wanted to go back and do that, I mean, it sucks because I get nothing for it, you know? That's lame. They got to fix the server issue. They have to. All right, the man behind the curtain. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. <laughs> I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. We're leaving Dubai. Hope you like the rain, 47. The rain. Uh oh. Miss Burnwood. How did you. I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get <laughs> you? It's the constant. We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. <clears throat> soon enough. Okay. I'm being told by multiple parties the servers may be working again. So I'll probably give it a shot for this second mission because I don't want to do it offline. So, see, replan mission, and I wouldn't have unlocked anything, which really blows. Okay, so, next up is called Death in the Family. Let's exit to the menu and see if I can connect to the server. If I can, great. If not, if it doesn't work, then we're just going to keep playing it, playing it offline. Let's see what happens. Ugh. Okay, it's looking like it's working again. Still level one because I got nothing for beating it. Fucked up, man. All right. <laughs> the butler did it. What the hell? The butler did it. <laughs> anyway, so back to the story. All right. Yep, you should leave that in the family before accessing this content. All right. Death in the family. Let's see what this new mission is. Here we go. End of the line. Where are we? She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. All right, Carlisle. That's who we're going after, eh? Right? Alexa Carlisle is dead. Ah. According to the funeral invitation, that is. Bleh. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. <laughs> Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. 
<clears throat> While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Mm. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the Constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. An right. optional objective. Happy hunting, 47. Or maybe a See side you objective, side. you still get to do it. Okay. Alrighty. Expand Donks is full James Bond right now. <laughs> So, yes, not only do we have to kill Alexa Carlisle, Carlisle, we have to find the case file on the constant. So we have two different objectives for this mission. English, so we're in England. Dartmoor, an English castle. Cool. The classic cut long suit? Is that what it's called? Oh my god. Look at all these you get. I, I pre-ordered the game. So you get the classic suit, all red, all white, all black, a blue streak, and then of course the one they want you to do, the classic cut long suit. That's pretty cool. Although you probably stick out like a sore thumb if you're wearing an all red suit, I'm just saying. Now we'll go, we'll go with the one they want you to wear for it. That's kind of cool. And we'll go with all the default stuff. All right, professional difficulty. Sadly, I only have 20 minutes left on stream. Obviously, I would have liked to get much further today, but because of the server issues, it really hampered my progress. So we'll see what happens. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. A private investigator. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Why did she summon a private investigator? That's interesting. There's the target. Wow, this is cool. It's a giant ass, you know, like an acre of land around the place you're going. Is that the private investigator? Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlisle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlisle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer. The famous private investigator, hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Okay. Gotta sneak up on his ass before he goes inside. Maybe I can use a coin. Hey? What was that noise? Good job. Thumbs up, me. You shouldn't be here. Damn it. I should have done one more. <laughs> I should have done one more. Oh man, I gotta redo the whole thing. I do. I gotta re I gotta start the mission over. 
I should have done one more into the wood, into the bushes, and I would have had him. Thornbridge Manor. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. Okay. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should <clears throat> do some detecting yourself, 47. Okay. A famous private investigator summoned by a Yes, we know. <laughs> we, we, we're well aware. All right. I'm going to try this again. I need to use all three coins to lure him into the bushes, and then I can take his ass out, I bet. Yes, you are the man. What? And then one more into the bush, and then I should be able to get him. Kill him. Oh, man. I'm... No, no, no. Elementary, my dear Diana. Nice. No one's gonna find him in this fucking bush. Good shit. Alright, that's a good start. I had to use all my coins, though. Maybe I'll find some more. If not, I'm sure you just sneak in another way, but... Interesting to see how this pans out being a private investigator. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yeah. Yes, please. If you'd follow me. All right, here we go. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. You believe we lost all your penne really points? Seriously? You shouldn't have gambled like that, man. Alive, it's not good. Awful business with her brother Zachary, and and all this security. Her I've brother Zachary. Guarded like this, and, and and I dare say I don't like it at all. This is what I mean. Crows, you hear him? Down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. They're gonna pat me yeah, down. Keep it real. I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. All right, I gotta I gotta ditch my uh, I gotta ditch my gun. Where can I ditch it where I can get it back? I thought I just go through the fucking window. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. Ha <laughs> ha Fuck your pat downs, asshole. That worked. Fuck them. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need mm. a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Okay. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. Crime scene? experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? Uh, is he hinting? I think he's hinting that I can go investigate the house first if I'd like. Let me save here. But I think he's hinting that I can go do whatever I want to, to scope the house out, then come back to him. Okay. So manual save slots. We can, we can just save over these now. We're done with this, right? Actually, I should save over the oldest one. This one. There we go. Okay. Um, I guess 
let's let's maybe take a quick look around the house and see what we can figure out before we go to this apparently murder. I wonder if it's they mentioned her brother outside. I wonder if the brother has been murdered. This looks like a bunch of people who were distraught in the next room. Oh wow, this is the armory. Look at this shit. A bunch of shotguns and some ammo. Let's just do a little tour of the house. I only have 10 minutes left, so there's no way I can get any further. Maybe just do a quick tour of the house and get to get our bearings. Try to figure out where everything is. Of course, we gotta find that notepad. It's probably upstairs. What do we got in here? Screwdriver? Alright. Always good to take as many useful items as you can grab. What's this? A fuse? Alright, we'll grab that. That could be useful. What is that? A car battery? Now, how am I going to put that in my inventory? I'm not. So maybe I can use this later on for something. A car battery. you got to remember that's in this front closet. Hear that? Is that a bunch of cobwebs over a bunch of brownies? That's what it looks like. A plate of, a giant plate of brownies covered in cobwebs. Why would she do that? Oh, you know what's not cobwebs, it's saran wrap. Okay, so they're trying to keep them fresh. I understand now. So you heard what happened. Apparently they discovered Carlisle's brother dead. And and then they fucking made... She yelled at the staff, why didn't you make the bed? Wow. Uh. See him fool to another dollar thirty. He says, 47 is white and too tall. What? The hell does that mean? What are you talking about, see him fool? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway... I want to make sure that's really CM Fool, not someone impersonating him. Because sadly, we get impersonators. Um, Alright, we're going to just take a look around. I guess we'll look around the, the, the quarters here. Okay, no, that was really CM Fool. I just have no idea what the hell he's talking about. Thank you for the tip, CM Fool. Alright. Okay. Oh, to be the P.I. I understand CM Fool. He's basically saying he looks nothing like what the P.I. really was. Pick up a fish. Stick to your own kind. You mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to Staff do was room. stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. I shouldn't gossip. But that Emma woman is a tad too busy for my taste. Tell me. She turned up and demanded to be put up in Madame Carlyle's bedroom. Who's Emma? We're the new heads of the family after all. It is only fitting. What? Well, Gregory was a doctor now, which was a surprise. He normally accepts his wife's outrageous behavior without batting an eyelid. Okay. Staying in his mother's bed so soon was just a bit steep, I suppose. And her son Patrick is just as bad. Just look at Rosie. He has no respect. He's preying on the girls like that. How are things coming along inside? Is everything ready for tomorrow? A headache from all the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller, comforter or not. Should I ask her to marry me? What if she says no? Oh my god. This big funeral thing tomorrow. It's the last thing I need. Amy is a great lass. You love her, she loves you. And now a wee one on the way. A sword, huh? <laughs> unlock the door. I don't have anything I can unlock it. A crowbar, a lockpick, or the keys. I wonder... Could this be the room where the item is that I need? I don't know. In fact, is that the item I need right there on the desk? It might be. I'm not sure, but you would think the door's locked for a reason, right? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to find out, right? We got more investigating, too. I guess see if I can find who has the key or if we can find a lockpick or a crowbar. Likely, we're just going to find a crowbar sitting around somewhere. I thought we are going to find a lockpick sitting around, right? <laughs> okay. All right. I received a $5 tip from Germworm. 
And he asks, how do I like the game so far? Honestly, if it keeps the pace it's going, I think this might actually be my favorite one in the whole trilogy. That first level was really good. Like, I liked having those creative ways to do things. See, I need a crowbar to open this as well. Okay, I gotta, I gotta look for a crowbar, basically. Gotta find a crowbar somewhere in the house. It's gotta be... It could be in the house, but you know where else it could be. It could be outside. Remember we just saw that area near the kitchen where the, the help was doing stuff? I wonder if there would be a crowbar outside somewhere, you know? But, um... But no, like, I'm, I like this game a lot right now. Oh shit, this is exactly what I needed. Some more coins. Good. Coins for distraction. The car battery is there, and you have to think maybe you do something with that? Apple. What do we got out here? See? Here we go. I knew it. I knew there'd be some shit out here. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Life can be tough sometimes. And that detective asked to come here. A newspaper? Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? I feel weak in my knees from all the tension here. Don't worry, I'm sure Oh, staff locker key. Oh, man, I want that. I want that, but I think I need to get them to walk away. Or else they're gonna just see it. It's gonna alert people. Oh, shit. I got the crowbar. All right. I knew there would probably be a crowbar out here. So, you think if I throw a coin, I can distract them all, and then I could go for that key? I'm gonna save again and try that. I want that key. I wanna go in their lockers to see if there's any useful items. Okay. Okay. Point. Where can I throw this to distract them? Shit, she's looking right at me. That ain't gonna work. The key's right there. Maybe if I throw it that way, they'll go behind the van. See that? Shit. This is gonna be a tricky one. I gotta find the right way to throw it. To get them to go look. Excuse me? We might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Shit, she's watching me. Sweet. Oh, oh, grab it now. Grab it now. Okay. Ooh, that was close. She wasn't looking, see? Nice. So now I have a crowbar and I have the staff locker key to mess around with stuff. Ooh, the dining room. Look at this. Very elaborate. Let me just take a quick look. This is like, dude, this is like Clue. <laughs> You're in a giant mansion. Very old school. There's a floating apricot. Look at that. Than Floating. My and meaningless gestures. Like hugs and encouragement. Just a single spontaneous caress. What a difference that would have made. Right. I clearly remember when I was five. I climbed a tree and could not make my way down. He's reciting scared, some kind of a speech he's gonna tell he's gonna of use. People, you heard me and Look at this, a phonograph? Trees. Oh, excuse me. Gramophone, not a phonograph. That would probably distract people. Yeah, fire poker, fire poker there. You are five. A bust. Climbing trees is supposed to be your area of expertise. Oh no, that won't go. You just think I remember this because I'm poison, missing poison. I wonder at some point if she's going to. Oh look at that, a piece of cake or cheesecake or something. I'm wondering at some point if she'll come over here to play the piano during the family meeting. And she can drink that and die, probably. All right. There's a lot to this one. It's very elaborate. I think they have a dog. Because I saw a newspaper. And I'm thinking maybe you use that to throw and distract a dog. It looks like here you could kill someone with water if you electrocute it, maybe. Not sure. The sitting room. I wonder if some, some of the people in here are family members. 
Maybe. Alright, if I can get back to the office, I now have the crowbar. But also, I have the staff key. So maybe I should go to the staff room? The trophy room? Dude, this is cool. This is really cool walking around a giant man. Look at this. Oh, God. I've alerted the birds. Don't go near those birds. A stuffed monkey. What is that giant paddle? A Maori paddle. <laughs> Don't whap someone with that. You can poison various things. Poison that too. Did you give the Fitzpatrick to oh. Carlisle's door? Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Oh, of course. So you heard that. So the butler has one of the things we need. Ah, tokens for Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby. According to the bodyguards, Rebecca Carlisle and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, have each been given a token for the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. When combined, the tokens grant access to a deposit box to whoever holds the set. This deposit may well contain a copy of the case file on Arthur Edwards. So, Rebecca Carlisle herself and the butler, I need to steal these unique tokens from in order to get the intel? I think so. Hmm. All right, that was fortuitous that we heard that. Another fuse cell, I already have one. So, where are, are we? We've, we've wandered around this house. I've completely lost my bearings. I don't even know where I am right now. This is the library. This, and we're only on the first floor. This place is huge. Like I said, like Clue. It really feels uh, like the uh, manor in Clue. I went for a stroll behind the greenhouse last night. Maybe that's where it is. What? Huh? My lost button. The one you couldn't find at the graveyard. Wouldn't it be a good idea for you to go and look for it? Now? A good idea. Yes. A lost button behind the greenhouse. Mr. Whitmer, are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? No. No, I'm going to follow this guy. Dude, this is so cool. So you follow this guy. He's going to go out to the greenhouse. And maybe what this is, this is supposed to be an opportunity to, be, to look like one of the help. So I'm not going to do that yet. Maybe later. Because I guarantee you that conversation probably keeps, keeps repeating. Much like in every uh, Hitman game. It probably will, will go in a loop. Dude, I don't remember how the hell to get to back to that office now. I don't even remember where it was. We gotta find that help area again. What does that say? I can't read it. Staff. Staff toilet? It's the staff toilet. Oh shit. Unlock the locker. Well, we've got a mansion guard disguise and a tasty banana. Let's grab that tasty banana for some energy. But I mean. <laughs> We have the mansion guard disguise. That probably is going to be useful. We got to remember that's in the staff bathroom. Okay. The forty-one guests will attend the funeral. All right. There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time, I think. So I where was that of office? Funeral stuff just now. I oh, know I have to. Here it is. She might be pregnant. I'm going to be a dad. So there's a few things I can do. I can either break open the fuse box, or I can open this with the crowbar. All right. Let's save up. We're out of time for today, okay? But next time around, I'm gonna likely I'm gonna try to break in there and see what I can find. If we find the safe deposit box, it said we can't open it without getting the two tokens. So we might end up having to take out Carlisle and the butler first, and then going in there at the end of the mission to get this intel, right? All right, good stuff. So, so my initial impressions after playing this for one stream, I really like it. It's actually even more elaborate than Hitman 2 was. And I'm finding it entertaining to kind of figure this stuff out for myself, just listening into the conversations, rather than following the 100% guided objectives that the game gives you. I'm actually enjoying the game just trying to figure it out for myself. So next time around, 
We'll continue on from here and we'll see what we can do. What I'll probably do is the murder investigation and see what that leads to. But maybe I can like knock out and, and rob the butler and then get the token and then do something for Carlisle. I don't know. But I'm liking it so far. So good stuff. I hope you guys are liking it so far. By the way, Shirtless Mofo did a 400 bit cheer. So I appreciate the overtime. The game looks fun itself for Hitman and Virgin. Are they all this good? Um. Let me put it this way. This seems like it is the biggest culmination of what it is. The other Hitman games that I played had were very similar, but this seems like a, just a ridiculous amount of options of things you can do. Like you didn't have to be the, the private eye. You could have just snuck in from the side. You could have you could have taken out one of the help and put on their outfit. You know what I mean? So I like this. I'm liking it a lot, and I do feel like this is kind of what if it keeps staying on this level for the rest of the game, it's probably the best one. But let's see. The only the bummer is the servers weren't working. If the servers will continue to work now, then obviously that's a huge uh a huge thing and we'll be able to get rankings and stuff so let's see what happens all right good stuff all right guys thank you for a great first session until next time